I started with a simple AI image and ended up with this full 3D object perfectly placed in my scene. The trick? Most people don't know about it. Let's dive into it. If you ever wanted to turn a product photo into a 3D object, this is the video for you. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to turn your iPhone images or AI generated images into actual 3D objects you can import into After Effects and composite in your scene. Let's get started. So I'm in mid journey and I'm gonna add a prompt to generate an apocalyptic type object that I could use. I'll add my prompt and I'm gonna make sure the background is green so I could key it. So here are the four that it came back with, all of them pretty good. I'll choose this one. And bringing this into Photoshop, I'll go to select color range and I'll grab this green color with the eyedropper, making sure I'm selecting the bright and darker parts until my mat here looks like this. Now I'll hit delete and my background will become transparent. And I'll export this as a transparent PNG from Photoshop and I'll navigate over to Meshi. I'll drop that link below. So I'll click on the image to 3D tool here. And from here, I'll click on the image box and I'll upload that transparent PNG I just made. Under the name, it actually generates a name automatically based on the image, so that's pretty cool. And then from here, it shows you four drafts to choose from of your 3D model. This is just the untextured model, so I'll choose this one. I'll hit confirm and it'll generate the texture. And once it's generated, you see how close it came to the original with a few minor imperfections, but very good overall. Now that we have our 3D model all set, we're gonna download the GLB and we're gonna bring it into After Effects. I have my clip here in a comp and I'll bring my GLB file into that comp. A box will pop up if I wanna make any adjustments to the scale. I'll hit okay. And I'm gonna use the rotation parameters to adjust my object. From here, I'll hide my object for now. And now I need to track my camera movement. So I'll select my video clip, I'll right click and go to track and stabilize, track camera. Now when this is done analyzing, I'll choose my track points right on this crater here and I'll select create solid and camera. And you see here the solid is tracking perfectly. And I'll unhide my 3D object here. And now while holding the shift key, I'll parent pick whip it to my solid. I'll readjust the parameters and you see here, it's tracking very nicely. Now I wanna make it look like this case is actually in this hole. So I actually have to composite my foreground a bit. To do this, I'll duplicate my background layer and I'll bring it to the top. I'll remove my 3D camera tracker effect from it because I'm actually gonna use Mocha on it instead. So I'll go to animation, track in Boris FX Mocha and click on the Mocha icon. Now Mocha is gonna pop up and I'll use the X spline tool here I'll select a very rough patch of the front of the creator here. I'll enable perspective due to the angle of the camera movement and I'll hit track forward. I'll finally click show surface and align surface to make sure it matches the proportions of my comp. I'll save it, jump back to After Effects and here I'll drop down the matte layer and select create AE masks. And that's gonna add a perfectly tracked mask to my layer, making it look like my case is in the hole. So now I'll create a new environment light and you can see this is creating some nice environmental shadows. By now your computer may be struggling to keep up. You could tell by looking at the render time dropdown. So if you want to move faster, you could select your object and lights, go to composition, pre-render and in render settings, make sure lossless with alpha is selected. And from here, you could go ahead and hide the GLB and lights and re-import your pre-rendered object into the comp. And you could see here how much faster that renders out in my comp compared to it before. So now after doing some color correction, as you could see, I actually wanna overlay my original PNG transparent image on the front of this case. So first I have my image pre-comped and I used the corner pin effect to get the angle right. You could see here from the first frame. So like before, I'll use Mocha to track the front of my case. And this time under the tracking data, I'll click create track data. And under layer export two, I'll make sure my pre-comp is selected and I'll hit apply export. Using this technique, you could bring almost any image to 3D life and even animate your objects in After Effects as well. Here's my final result. See you next time.